Not too long ago, I published a video of a new custom map built in World Painter. Inspired by a bohemian landscape, there are too many perfect castle locations not to build one. So let's do that. And I want to try something different for this video, so make sure to bring me some constructive criticism of how the video is and how you felt about it. For this video, I want to take you through the entire process of building a castle from planning to finished product. And as usual, the first thing we need to figure out is what to build and as the landscape is inspired by bohemia let's build a bohemian inspired castle so the first thing we need to do is go to google and figure out some reference images so just going through a couple of the images here on google there is one thing in particular i really like about bohemian castle and that is this thing here the wattle and dobe that they add on top of the stone foundation the stone buildings and it really makes the buildings quite unique. Uh, one thing I also realized is it's very similar, at least to my eye, I'm not an expert on any of this, uh, to Transylvanian castles such as Castle Bran, uh, which is one of my favorite castles. Um, so maybe we can t take some inspiration from there as well, uh, but for sure I really want to get uh, those wattle and dobe features in and then this cool stone base. Uh, I really like the way that the corners are uh, yeah, have this nice stone border on them and also just looking at the general shape of the buildings. So once we have an idea of what our castle will look like, I like to just write down a couple of things uh, or key points that is very important to get into the planning, the next stages of the planning. Uh, so I usually do just have a document like this um, and then just write down what you want. So for the family which will be owning the castle, we need a fee salt, somewhere to eat, a kitchen, a place to make the food they will eat, rooms, we'll have a master bedroom for the kids, guests, a boudoir for uh, for the lady, um, we'll have a temple for like worship and stuff, we're gonna have a living room slash solar room and just like areas for the family to hang out. Uh, bathrooms, probably some outhouses, guardrobes, whatever, uh, for the necessary stuff. And then we're going to have some utility rooms, basically stuff that will help the family of the castle thrive. So we're going to have some areas for servants, uh, we're going to have some smiths, uh, bakery, workshops, things to just um, to help the family living here. Storage, we need a wine cellar. I also probably gonna have uh, like beer and other beverages and stuff that needs to be stay, yeah, kept cold in there. And the pantry for normal food. Uh, maybe even we'll have different kind of pantries and storage rooms for different kind of foods, depending on what space we, we will have for that. And then for defense, which is very important for a castle, uh, we need a gatehouse, uh, some barracks, uh, battlements, just like castle walls, crenellations and all that kind of stuff. Using the list of rooms we have created, I have also built up a simple plan of what I imagine the castle will look like and transfer that into Minecraft just using some wool to lay out the foundations and the general shape of the castle. And then what I like to do is to build the plan in three dimensions, meaning we block upwards, create a general shape, not just like the foundation shape, but the actual shape of the towers, the buildings, how tall are they going to be, just to get a better visual representation of how the end result might look. And it's easier to do changes to your plan now than after we have already started placing the actual blocks. So by doing this, uh, we're able to see where rooms can go, where we can have a hallway to connect the different rooms, where staircases can fit, uh, or if we need a special kind of staircase, we need to make sure we have enough room for that. Uh, and also it just gives us a better idea of the general shape and how the castle will work uh, when it's done. Now that we have established a detailed plan of the entire castle, it is time to start placing some actual blocks. Uh, uh, so what we need to do is just to figure out a simple block palette and we'll work from there. Uh, just explore some new variations and try something new here and there but just getting a simple palette is very helpful. So what I will be using is the tan stucco, some tavertine brick, uh, some polished diorite and the tavertine slabs. Uh, mainly the first three ones and we'll see how those colors work together and if we can come up with something that works. We might have to redo, who knows. Uh, but let's start by this first tower here uh, and I just establish a little bit of a style, see if we can implement some of those bohemian uh, ideas and architectural styles into the castle uh, which we can then take on to the rest of the build. So 
So we got the first tower of the castle done and I gotta say I'm really digging the colors, the shapes and the general style of this and I'm looking forward to putting this into the rest of the building here and of course add some more of the wattle and dope together with this and I think that's gonna look really cool. As you can see I decided not to make the gate in this tower here as I kind of did on the sketch uh, earlier I actually decided to put that over on the side here uh, just because it wasn't really very defendable from here because none of the sides here can really attack the front gate so I decided to move the gate over here we're gonna add a little gatehouse um, and that kind of makes the or forces your the armies or the attackers to kind of go up here then they can be attacked from this bit and then from the tower here and then all the way on this side and be attacked from all over uh, this wall here. So I think that makes it a little bit more defendable uh, and I think it's going to work. Also want to give you guys a quick update on interior here. I'm doing that as we go here. Uh, but to reduce the length of the videos here, I'm not going to show you the entire interior uh, of the castle here as we go. But basically just a simple part of the battlements here. And then up here we have like some launch areas uh, for the people that are kind of on duty and then all the way up we have some watch posts here we have a telescope and just windows you can look out of So we added some more here, we have the service building on the left side and we also added the battlements on the side of the tower that we initially built here and it's looking pretty cool, it's a very different style and I'm, I'm digging it so far. Um, these walls here have this nice wooden uh, roof over the top there and then we have the little gatehouse there and I think it ties these two nicely together like that. And then on the inside here uh, we have the, um, like parts for the servants to work at so we have a little blacksmith area I'm gonna finish this as we get to the courtyard itself so we're gonna texture the, um, the ground here and then we're gonna have anvils and mechanics and stuff to make the the blacksmith work but we have the forge here coming up like that and then in here we have a little yeah workshop area just some planks and areas to sit and a little oven to heat it up maybe we could even use this to to shape some simple metals or uh, to yeah burn parts of wood or something and then also just like uh, yeah wheels ropes uh, pretty much whatever you need to just do minor things uh, like carpentry and stuff and then up here we have uh, a little bakery area for the servants we're gonna have a main kitchen somewhere else but this is just like a separate thing to that so uh, baker's oven I really like the design of this one how it's nice and rounded like that and then a little area here I like to use sand and sandstone to kind of indicate dough and uh, that is being formed into bread here so that looks uh, very cool and then uh, this um, yeah I do some benches and stuff here to work with and then this goes out here as I have mentioned I'm not gonna be able to show you every single room in detail so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload this to my patreon so if you want to see this for yourself there is a link to my patreon down below and you'll be able to download this after the video comes out Before we get any further on with the castle building, I just want to mention that I am partnered up with Skynode. So if you want your own Minecraft server, there are some links down below and there's even a discount code to get 25% off. And it's simply the best way of getting your own Minecraft server and it's really cheap, super simple to set up and the service there and support is just amazing. So make sure to check out the link, use my promo code and get your own Minecraft server. The next thing I want to do for the castle is going to be the keep, uh, the area for the main 
noble family living here. So as you can see, I want to have this similar thing to what we have with the servants building and uh, like a stone structure with a wattle and dope top like that. And then in the back, I want to have a huge tower. Um, what I'm not entirely sure about is if I wanted to go out like this and have a wattle and dope top or if I want to go with something a little similar to the tower here. And I'm kind of leaning towards this as this would kind of tie both sides of the castle together. And I think it's going to look pretty cool. But I guess the only way to really figure out is to try, play around, do some building. And we'll just see whatever I end, end up with in the end. Uh, so let's uh, do a little bit more building here on the keep and take it from there. I feel like it's about time to give you guys a little update on the building here and I gotta say I'm, I'm digging it it's looking fantastic so far decided to go for the, the similar kind of style for the tower here in fact it's very similar to the one in the front there but it all ties everything together and yeah I think that was a good decision to do instead of having another like uh, wattle and dope top there so that looks fantastic and then in the back we have this little chapel and it's inspired by a castle I went to a few years ago in the Rhine Valley. Uh, I'm not going to even <laughs> attempt on pronouncing the name of it. But it had this cool, very like gothic looking um, bay window temple into the building itself. And it looks very cool in real life. And I think it pulled it off somewhat for this castle here. Just uh, kind of, yeah, uh, captures your attention a little bit here. Uh, and... Yeah, it's a nice little point of interest there. And then on the side here, I added this curved building here, as I already showed you in the plan, which is going to be like for bath, uh, like a little bathhouse thing up here with these windows. And then also just going to connect the servants' building to the rest of the the keep or the area where the family will be living. I haven't finished the interior yet, but I just wanted to kind of update you guys on what has been going on here. Uh, but I'm just going to point out this little bit here as well, which I love. This uh, lower part inside the castle walls or, yeah, like connection to this area. I'm not really sure what to call everything here. But uh, it's basically just uh, a little hallway which takes you into the main hallway. So I want to show you that real quick before we move on. So we come in here. And we have a very nicely decorated hallway, uh, which leads into a little like foyer here, or foyer, or whatever you want to call it. And then uh, this goes further into the a little hallway. It's very dark in here. Maybe I should uh, grab myself uh, some light here so you can see a little bit better here. Um, and which goes into a little kitchen here. Eventually, oh dude, it's so dark. Uh, this will eventually go down to the basements, uh, cellars and stuff. Some storage in here. Uh, and there's a little staircase. I just want to show you the dining hall before uh, we go back to some more building here. So in here we have the big like feast hall or dining hall. Massive room. Uh, it has this little balcony here for the next floor. Which is like a family room. Like a solar or something like that. Uh, which goes into here. 
and then there's also a little exit to a balcony overlooking the courtyard here uh, which is absolutely stunning. At one point I have to finish all the interiors but it's just taking a lot of time uh, and I mainly want to focus on getting the castle done so what I think I'm going to do is just to pause that interior building for a little bit uh, because yeah it just takes a lot of time and then that will kind of shape up this tower here because this is very basic and plain right now. I think I'm going to add more windows, a little uh, guard robe on the side here and stuff. Uh, but that has to match with the interior. So I'm going to let that be for now. And what I want to do is to do some gardening. So in the front here, uh, I want to do like a little wall uh, kind of covering all of this. So basically, uh, like, a, yeah, it's not going to be a very defensive type of wall. I don't think so, at least. Uh, but it's going to be just like to separate the courtyard where stuff happens. So this is where uh, we'll have blacksmith. Uh, I'm also going to build a barracks over here. And maybe some small farms, uh, workshops, stuff is going to happen here. But then we're going to have like a little gate, which takes you into a garden over here, which is going to be where... Uh, you can come out and just relax as uh, the lord of the castle here. We're going to have some trees, some flowers, and it's just going to be a little pretty and close area. Real quick update on the garden here. It's looking very cool. We have this big tree hanging over with the canopy there. Uh, a little uh, grass patch here. Not entirely sure what to put here. Um, and then this tower, which is covered in ivy like that, and flowers all over the place, and a nice patio, which then drops down into the courtyard itself so eventually we're going to get to all of this but i think the next part i want to do is to finish off the interior of the castle i do believe most of the interior is done by now and i think the quickest way for me to show you this will be in spectator mode uh, as i mentioned i'm not going to be able to show you every detail of the interior uh in this video because so I, i'll have to make another video just touring this castle here and, and as i mentioned patrons and stuff will be able to download it so but we're just going to fly through real quick quick here uh, look at some of the the rooms here and there <laughs> like this just so you can see that it's it's fur furnished pretty much uh, there's rooms here we have very open nicely decorated rooms and kind of uh, or, or that kind of ties into what the specific rooms are so the um, the lord's bedroom is a little bit nicer decorated than the servants uh, bedrooms and stuff like that so i tried to tell somewhat of a story uh with how the rooms are but uh basically that is done for now and there's not too much left uh just to kind of keep you guys updated uh, we have the courtyard we have the little barracks uh, which is going to be here i think that's the barracks yes uh, and then underground stuff which will be done uh, last i think so let's go in for a little bit of a time lapse again and play some blocks for the courtyard and just tie it all up And with those blocks placed, I think the castle is complete for now. I will go back in and just add some minor things here and there before I upload it. But I really want to get the video out. It's been so long since I've been publishing one. Uh, I have come up with a name for the castle. Deniva. I think it's a beautiful name. It fits the castle. So let me know what you think about that. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this new kind of video where I took you through the entire process of building a castle from planning it, researching and actually placing the blocks, doing the interiors, exteriors and the detailing. So if you like that, please make sure to hit the like button and if you haven't done it, please consider subscribing. I will see you guys later with a tour of the entire castle so we can see all the wonderful interiors and I'm also going to be here with more building videos, tours cinematics and stuff as you know so if you don't want to miss out on that please hit that subscribe button and i will see all of you guys later it's been vigo man 
and I'm out.